So here in this video, I'm gonna demonstrate. We have a very common problem. Uh, cars getting bumps here whenever we open the door in the tight spaces. So this thing, the paint peels off and eventually it gets rusty. So I ordered this product on Amazon, the black color beading. Uh, which is it comes in clear as well. I've used clear in past with 3 mm tape, but this is a different sort of stuff This is like a, what do you call a, it's it have metal clips inside and outside layering is PVC a normal PVC pretty much Looks like a sturdy material, but let's try this is 32 32 uh, Centimeters sorry 32 foot 32 feet. So good enough for two cars seven seater and five seater Audi I'm trying this on Audi so Audi A3, so this thing is, is coming off anyway. So kids side as well, the passenger seats as well. You can see pretty much it's everywhere, these one. Obviously my mistake, but yeah. So I've cleaned it with this um, degreaser, which we normally, any, any degreaser really, even cycle degreaser, which you use on chains. So main thing is there shouldn't be any dirt here. And now I'm gonna start the business here. So by putting it here, you need a mallet eventually uh, ideally but i'm gonna cut this part diagonally so that this part touch here and then i'll drag it in so the proper way i would recommend to do this thing is either with the pressure with your thumb or else use mallet mallet will be a better option but if you if you are quite okay with pressing it hardly with your thumb Applying the proper pressure, you are need to make sure that it's going completely in. They shouldn't be hanging around in air. So that's the way it will work. The problem with 3mm was, it was th so thin. I used it though, I used it for 6 months. It was a good product. I rated it 5 star. Only problem was, it was so thin. And there wasn't any metal clamps inside like this one have a proper metal clamps when I cut this little wire um, metal was visible and uh, some people are saying it might get rusty it's not the case because it's embedded inside the PVC it's not outside so metal won't touch your car at all so the good part in this is which was uh, missing in 3mm tape the clear one clear version you can put the bidding on this trim as well on this protect protective trim so that's quite a good handy part so that you are not cutting it here you just continuing and exactly same thing here on this bump on here which is quite a thick one but since it is metal inside so it is clapping it gripping it like anything so it's not gonna come off easily pretty stormy weather it was yesterday and my car is full of really stormy dirt and all that i need to it probably would would be better idea if you wash your car before doing these things but yeah that's okay i've just cleaned the where trim will go so that's a bit tricky in 3mm you had no choice to cut it you had to cut this because otherwise it won't go like this but in this one i've seen on amazon by the seller's website that you can you can turn it around like this so this is gonna try and i'll put it in my feedback if it is possible or not but let's see one tip I would like to give you here I did a mistake here this gap this gap should not be there I'm gonna fill it a tiny weeny car silicone here so that water won't seep in here the mistake I did was I banged it in a wrong way and it overlapped so the metallic bit came out so it it eventually when I turned it around it came like this big gap so I have to plunge it up in so beware ideally i won't recommend you to use mallet use it with hand ha nothing you can't go wrong with hand it might be a little hard but with mallet it might make your life easy but if you do this kind of mistake then the purpose of this trim is over because water will still seep in and you might protect it from dents and scuffs but this is lower layer is just for the design to be very honest you don't need it ideally you need it on the siding side trim but so that it looks it looks quite nice with the black trim on a white car that's the reason why i'm putting on bidding on underneath as well but here underneath part side part is super duper easy underneath part you have to be very tricky very tricky and very careful about this underneath part 
okay quite make it little bit harder we use both hands and make it proper snug the inside another tip i would like to share here if you want to use mallet to make your life easy do not directly use it first of all budge this in when you are 100% sure the both mechanism the this wall this wall and this wall both walls are already inserted inside so just to push it more in then use mallet but before that if you are use using and if it overlaps your whole metallic bit will ruin and you won't be able to fix it with anything really you'll get this sort of gap which is clearly visible here and my uh, worry is water will seep in here and eventually if water stands here unless it evaporates it will gonna be sitting inside in this wall so there is no point so budget in with hand and then use mallet slowly just to make sure that it's properly inserted so that was a top job i would call it it's pretty much see here little bit it's coming out so it's not a bad product it's not a bad quality either it's okay it's okay value for money i don't know how last this is 32 meters 32 foot sorry 32 feet i don't know how much it will last i think i have to order again for obviously second car will need one more uh, so for audi for a hatchback i think uh, let's see let's see i can measure it up so i have just measured it up for a hatchback 32 feet is more than sufficient and this bit is extra this bit is spare so i am going to order one more of this for seven seater car vauxhall zafira tourer and i'll apply the same thing i will for brown car also i will go for a black color rather than white uh actually black is quite looking good on white color to be very honest so it's not a it's good enough for any car really big car or small car uh, 32 feet is good enough but don't order 16 feet definitely order 6 32 if you want to cover all doors that's all about my video and uh, i'll make a final look of this how it looks on all four doors once i'm done with my job so far this bidding is perfectly snugly fit without any issues on audi a3 with the, these kind of trims overlapping via this trim so protective trims i'm not cutting it which i had to in 3 mm tape which was half the it's not too too thick also by the way when it arrived when product arrived i was little surprised to see the thickness so i was thinking how can this thin Uh, like it's not that broad how can this thing will will be able to snugly fit it over the trims but it it surprised me and it's so well designed so well made you can't call it a chinese product it's like one of the good good chinese products i would say see the see the bent and going smoothly the mistake i did there in that door i haven't repeated that so i highly recommend you to uh, put this with hand applying pressure with both hands and only then use mallet and that too if you required if you are able to if you are confident enough that using this method you are okay you don't need mallet at all mallet will screw it up mind it because this metallic bit metallic bit is quite thick this is not a this is this is the metallic bit so this this bent the shape of this metallic bent the pin i would say this spin sort of shape should not be spoiled and mallet can spoil it up because if it is not snugging if this bit is not snugging or overlapping or anything then it will gonna screw it up so eventually you have to rip it off after few months so so far it is good job i'm quite happy with the product one more thing do not use your wife's kitchen scissors she will kill you because this metal bits use the diy scissors i have i'm using from my man's cave i mean if you will use your wife's kitchen it will go pretty much she want to be able to use in kitchen because this this metallic bit is is really uh, quite a tough one so it cuts easily with a scissor but you lose your scissor 
sharpness so preferably the use your use your tool scissors rather than kitchen scissors here i come up with another tip on these bends the corner one where it's turning mallet is definitely required unless you bang it really hard with your fist i mean there they should not be this particular thing this trim should not be overlapping here because it is a bent it it was budging out little bit out in air here this side i had to mallet here and i had to mallet little bit here and otherwise it is now it is proper snug now it's not uh, keeping a gap for air to come out or air to come in from outside so it's quite a air tight sort of thing uh, people have rated it it's like um, save your ac as well i don't know about that i don't know i will not, i won't comment upon that part because i don't know if it makes bigger difference or not but yeah this thing is required here so mallet is eventually required or hit it hard with fist but otherwise my recommendation is do not use mallet use bang it with fist but this part yeah that's an exception so that's the last part that's the last bit last door so the i'm just again showing you the logic behind uh why i'm saying with the hand slowly some places this gap is very less slowly very slowly budget in keep budging keep budging don't worry about uh, no, that thing it's not smooth we have to bang it still with fist so keep on keep on doing in this tricky bit little bit more conscious so like this and now here two hands will be required okay so slowly you have to budget in hey dear viewers that's the final product so this one is spare i can assure you 32 feet is good enough for any hatchback or saloon even for i would say estate no estate i i won't i'll try on zafira and then i'll try so but 32 feet should be okay so this is what it's covering complete audi a3 door to door back to bottom top to bottom here you see looking amazing to be very car is not clean forget about that i'll get to wash it so it's door to door and if you want hair on this bit just for design sake okay you you don't need this for the purpose just for design design sake you can do that as well no it's tricky you can't do that but uh, all the doors fully covered so without any doubt 32 feet is the ideal size for any car let me try on zafira 7 seater i'm ordering it one more 32 feet on this car i will try and let's see if it covers this bit as or not uh but for a daily use car which you use rough and tough for daily grocery and all those sort of things it's definitely recommended where Uh, you need to carry kids for clubs and all that so it's really kids bang doors and even driver side was quite a scuffy so yeah good product so far fitting was okay uh, single handed maybe 30 minutes job if you go slow and with patience with cleaning up all the dirt and grime first and then apply it yeah it's good five star rating uh, amazon once again kudos